If you hold a BRRP expiring in December 2024, it's vital that you watch this video to the end. As we all know, the UK is moving towards a digital era and they're getting rid of all biometric residence permits. Biometric residence permits or BRRPs are given to all foreign nationals with permission to live in the UK for at least six months. It demonstrates proof of an individual's right to study, to work, access public services and claim benefits. But all these need to be replaced under the Home Office Digitalization Program. According to the figures secured from the Home Office, more than 4 million people are at risk of not being able to prove their right to work, rent or travel. Many people will unnecessarily lose out on vital benefits because of the Department for Work and Pensions also appear to have no plan of implementing the digitization of IDs. So this is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I will shed more light on why millions of migrants are said to be at risk of losing their legal rights. Is there a way of avoiding finding yourself in this predicament? Let's find out more in the video. So according to the Observer, the rush deadline for UK digital visas puts millions at risk of losing their legal rights. FOI reveals non-EU migrants could be caught in winter-style scandal at the end of 2024 as Home Office struggles to contact them. As the Home Office moves towards a digital era, they've created a new system whereby you prove your immigration status online and this is called the e-visa. So with effect from January 2025, all individuals are expected to have an e-visa, that is if you have a BRP and you are not a UK citizen. You will not need a BRP as you'll be able to prove your immigration status online. So biometric residence permits will be a thing of the past. Passports with wet ink stamps will also not be needed to prove immigration status. Even those little vignette stickers showing your entry or leave status will no longer be used. So for you to be able to get an e-visa so that you switch from the BRRP to the e-visa, the home office has to send you an email and in that email you will receive a link and once you click on that link, it is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get this e-visa. However, there is a very big problem which the Home Office is currently experiencing. The Home Office is failing to get in touch with millions of people. Data from the Home Office released under the Freedom of Information Act revealed that 4,066,145 people have BRPs that expire on 31 December despite having legal leave to remain in the UK beyond that date. By the end of this year, they will need to have replaced these fiscal payments with digital e-visas. The Home Office has already struggled in early attempts to contact those affected. As in some cases, the email address they have on the file is for a migrant's lawyer and charities fear migrants could fall foul of the cliff edge deadline. To access their e-visa, people will need to open a UKVI digital account. People can still apply for this account after that 1 December, but if they are not aware of the new rules, they may only discover this when they are unable to prove their right to return from holiday or claim benefits. So what this simply means, guys, is that for you to be able to get your e-visa, the Home Office is supposed to send you an email and you're going to use that link that you're sent by the Home Office to create your digital account and follow the step-by-step -step process for you to get an e-visa. However, as mentioned earlier on, the Home Office is struggling to contact over 4 million people. So if you used an immigration lawyer to apply for your visa, or you use someone else's email to apply for your visa, you need to be in contact with the individual so that they check for you whether there was an email from the home office. You will need this email to be able to apply for your e-visa. There is a complaint that because of the rushed deadline, a huge number of people are at risk of not being able to prove their right to work, rent or travel. 
In addition, many people will unnecessarily lose out on vital benefits because of the Department for Work and Patients also appear to have no plan for implementing this digitalization of IDs. This will adversely affect people who are particularly vulnerable, including refugees and survivors of trafficking and torture. So they state that whoever is in power after the election will have to sort out this huge issue and will need to ensure that all government departments coordinate better so that millions are not at risk of significant injustices. So millions are really affected by these guys and these figures were secured from the Home Office by Helen Bamba Foundation, a human rights charity. Zoe Dexter, who is its housing and welfare manager, says it is shocking that the Home Office is rushing through their digitization plan, which affects millions of people in the UK in a ridiculously quickly and chaotic manner. So guys, if you are in the United Kingdom, and you are planning on leaving or traveling outside the UK after December 31st, you have to make sure that you now have your e-visa. Because if you travel outside the UK without having this e-visa in place, you will not be able to return to the United Kingdom because you cannot prove your right. Remember a month ago, I shared a video with you where I indicated that the Home Office is struggling with problems of meshed identities where two or more people have their details linked incorrectly. And I also indicated in that video that some nurses and carers will also stop from working because they're not able to prove their right to work in the UK because of a mix up in identities. So guys, this goes to show that if you're not able to prove your right to work in the UK, even if you are within the United Kingdom, you may be stopped from going to work because your, your employer needs to be able to prove your right to work in the UK using the share code. So guys, it is important that you make sure that the email that the home office has is the current email that you're using, your current address as well as your current phone number. So the following is taken from the Home Office website and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do in order to get your e-visa. The UK border and immigration system is becoming digital. Physical documents are being replaced by e-visas. If you currently have physical proof of your immigration status, such as a biometric residence permit or BRP, or another immigration status document, like a vignette visa sticker inside your passport, then this video is for you. This video will show you how to create your UKVI account so you can access your e-visa. What you need to create your UKVI account. Your e-visa is an online record of your immigration status and the conditions for you to stay in the UK. Creating an account won't affect your current immigration status. To create your UKVI account, you will need your BRP number or application number. This might be called a UAN or start with the letters GWF. Your application number was automatically created during the visa application process. A copy of it will have been sent to you by email or post. If you do not have any of the above, go to gov.uk slash evisa for advice on what to do. A family member or a friend can help you create a UKVI account. To get started, here's what you need. A smartphone, laptop or any device with internet access. You can borrow someone else's if needed. Your identity document. This can be your BRP or your passport, your BRP or application number, your date of birth, your email address, a mobile phone number, and access to the UK Immigration ID Check app, which you can find in the Google Play Store or App Store. If you cannot download the app, you can use a friend or family member's smartphone with their permission. How to create your UKVI account. 
there are three steps you need to take to create a UK VI account and access your e-visa. Step 1. Create a UK VI account. If you received a letter or email telling you to create an account, follow the instructions or go to gov.uk slash e-visa to access the Create a UK VI Account service. Fill in your details and click Create Account. You will then get confirmation via an email that your UK VI account has been created and you can sign in. Step 2. Confirm your identity by using the UK Immigration ID Check app and following the instructions. If you are using a computer, laptop or tablet, you will need to download the app on a smartphone and use the smartphone's camera to scan a QR code. Or you can request a connection code to connect to the app instead. The app will ask you to take a picture of your BRP or passport, check your document's information and take a picture of your face. Step 3. Link your account to your e-visa. To do this, you will need to complete all the sections on the task list. Then, confirm you have read the declaration and click Submit. You will then receive an email when your e-visa is ready to view and in some cases, this could take up to a few days. If you are unable to finish confirming your identity or linking your account to your e-visa, we will send you an email link so you can start where you left off. And finally, when your account is created, your e-visa will be linked to the identity document you used to create your account. If you are planning to travel outside the UK, you must check your current travel document is linked to your e-visa before you travel. This will ensure you have the smoothest journey when boarding to return to the UK. You can do this by using the Update Your UK Visas and Immigration Account Details service, which you can find on gov.uk. If you need support creating your account or want more information about how e-visas will affect you, visit gov.uk slash e-visa.